Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your Raspberry Pi 3 into a personal cloud storage using OwnCloud. This tutorial assumes that you have Raspbian installed. I'm also going to show you how to mount an external hard drive for additional storage capacity. I am using the Raspberry Pi uh, 3 Model B with a 32 gigabyte SD card. So let's begin. Go ahead and open the terminal and here type sudo space raspy dash config and hit enter. Here select change user password. Hit enter and then enter your password. Just because you know you don't see nothing being typed doesn't mean you're not entering the password. Confirm and again hit enter. Then go to number four localization options and here change locale. Scroll down to select ENUS UTF-8. This one here. Press the spacebar to select, tab, enter. Again, tab, enter. Once done, go to Advanced Options. Here, select Memory Split and change it from 64 megs to 16. Select OK and now finish to reboot. OK. Once you reboot, head over to OwnCloud.org and here, click on Download. Under step one, again, select download, download on cloud server, packages for auto updates tab, and then continue to the packages. Here select Debian, and here are the instructions to uh, install on cloud. Now they're not in order. So follow this tutorial carefully. Now open the uh, terminal and here type the following command sudo space hyphen i or sudo space su and hit enter. We need to run all these commands as root. So from the second block, first command, copy and paste. You need to bear with me here because this will take a little while. I'm actually going to copy and paste all the commands. Now from the first block, copy the first line of command and paste it onto the terminal. Hit enter. Then the second command from the first block. Paste it and hit enter. Now we need to update. So copy the second command from the second block. Enter. This will take a little bit. Once done, we'll be ready to install on cloud. Now copy the third command from the second block. Paste it and enter to install on cloud. You'll be prompted to confirm by uh, selecting the Y key and then hit enter. Once done, OwnCloud has been installed successfully. Done. Now we need the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to clear here and type ifconfig. Hit enter and it'll give us the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Here it is. 192.168.1.134. If you need to uh, make a note, go ahead and do so because we're going to need it to uh, access our own cloud instance. From a computer within the network, type http colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of the Raspberry Pi forward slash own cloud. 
And here you'll notice that our own cloud instance is fully functional. We're not ready yet because we need to mount the external hard drive. If you're not mounting an external hard drive, then you're good to go. Skip the uh, uh, process of, in, of uh, mounting the external hard drive so you can be able to access this from the uh, WAN as if you would with Dropbox or OneDrive. For those users who want to mount an external hard drive, here it is. Now I'm going to go to my site because I have already written a tutorial like this and I'm going to again copy and paste all the commands to uh, mount the external hard drive. Here it is. I'm going to literally copy all the commands uh, from my website. So I'm going to clear here and copy the first command. The first command will install, install the NTFS packages so uh, my Raspberry Pi can read NTFS formatted hard drives. So I'm going to copy, paste it. Hit enter. And now here click on Y and confirm to install. Done. Now let's copy the second command here. We're going to create a directory which will be mounted to the external hard drive. So any information there would actually be uh, on the external hard drive. Now let's make the uh, user data owner of the di directory and apply proper permissions to read, write, and execute. Now we need the uh, GID and UID of the user data. So I'll copy ID space hyphen G space dot 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 dash data is 33 and the UID thirty three good now this would be a good time for you to plug in that external hard drive now is the time so plug in the external hard drive to the Raspberry Pi Make sure that it's properly powered on and fully functional. So wait a few seconds. A little notice here on the screen should come up something like this. Medium inserted is inserted. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on OK to open because I want to create a test file there to make sure that I have properly mounted the directory to the external hard drive. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So here I'll create new and then call this test. So this file is a test file. Okay, now copy the command, paste it on the terminal, and this will give us the UUID of the external hard drive. Here it is. Now you can write it down or you can copy and paste like I'm going to do here. It's much easier. I'm going to highlight the UUID, copy, right click copy, create a text file, I'll name it new, doesn't matter, and then I'll paste the UUID of the external hard drive which is SDA1. I'll save it and now we need to enter the following command sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash fs tab we need to edit the fs tab paste it into the terminal hit enter and here right on top of uh, a swap file there create a space and enter the following line this one here copy the entire line and paste it now 
notice here that the UID and GID is already 33. In case you ran the uh, UID and GID of the www.data user, and if it gave you a different number, you should replace this number 33 to the number it gave you. Here, remove the UUID and replace that UUID number with a number you got. Again, I'll, I'm just pasting it to the terminal. Make sure that it's a space between the last digit and the forward slash. Once done, control X, yes, enter. Now, sudo space reboot. Upon reboot, again, run the terminal. We need to run this command. This is to make sure that the uh, external hard drive is properly mounted to this directory. sudo space ls space forward slash media forward slash on cloud drive. If you notice there, there's a test file I created. Remember when we plugged in the external hard drive to the Raspberry Pi? This means I'm 100% sure that the hard drive is properly mounted. And any information stored will be actually stored onto the external hard drive. Head over to a computer within the network and again enter the Raspberry Pi IP address for slash on cloud like I showed you earlier. Here we need to finish the configuration. Create an admin account and a password and here under storage and database select for slash media for slash on cloud drive. Now we'll be accessing our own cloud instance from the LAN within the network. If you want to access your own cloud instance from outside the network as if you would with OneDrive or Dropbox, you will need to enable SSL. To enable SSL, there's a link in the description box below. Again, this data folder is the directory we mounted to the external hard drive. Once you're done, click on Finish Setup. If you want to access this own cloud as if you are accessing Dropbox or OneDrive, you need to enable Port Forward. To do that, log in to your router and locate the WAN IP address or external IP address. Write this information down because we're going to need it for future configuration. In the terminal or SSH, enter the following sudo space nano space for slash var for slash dub 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 for slash on cloud for slash config for slash config that php and add the following line under array one space equals greater than single quote the one or external ip address single quote comma and to the right of overwrite that cli that url the one in blue Replace that IP address with the WAN or external IP address you just got from the router. Once done, save the file and we can go back to the router and here locate the port forward section. Add a new service. I'll name this on cloud and I'll be using port 443, which is the SSL port. You can manually enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi or you can select it from one of the connected device. Either way, make sure to save the settings. Once done, you can access your Raspberry Pi on cloud instance from anywhere in the world by entering HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and the WAN IP address. If you want to sync using your tablet or mobile device, all you need to do is just download the on cloud app and enter the HTTP address with your login information and you'll be syncing exactly the same as if you would with Dropbox or OneDrive. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.